We simply have to focus on this man in fantastic form and the top scorer in the league. Can he add to his tally today, live on EA TV? And good evening on what is a perfect night for football. The floodlights shining down on the players as we speak. I'm Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry. And alongside me at the microphone is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Blackburn Rovers, and they face Nottingham Forest. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface, and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And this confrontation is underway. It's a corner. Now sending it in. And that wasn't a bad header at all. Couldn't quite get over the ball. Bernardeschi. Well, I'm sure when it comes to our hosts, they don't really want to be reminded of this, but it is a fact. They have the leakiest defence in the league, Stuart. Well, defending has to start from the front. And this season, the forwards haven't put enough pressure on their opponents. That's why it's so difficult for the rest of the team to make good defensive decisions. It's been really poor from the front players. Not quite the clearance they were hoping for. Delivering it into the box. Foiling them effectively. McKenna Joao Carvalho here
Just looking for the right moment for that final pass. Oh, great defending. Mergin Berisha. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. And a change to the scoreline in the Sheffield United match. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Yep, it's a goal for Sheffield United. After a well-worked move, he got himself on the end of a cross. Oh, narrowly wide. So unlucky. Well, apologies to Alex. Sometimes when exciting things happen, we have to cut her off. We don't do it too often, of course. To confirm, Sheffield United have scored in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. Well, the attacking options appear plentiful. Still pushing for the goal that would put them ahead, but not forcing it. I just couldn't play that decisive ball. Federico Bernardeschi. So for Blackburn Rovers, a draw it was in the last game against Swansea City. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, they were really good going forward, but too open defensively in that game. Today, if they can match their opponents in terms of energy, they should be able to get a similar result. And just failed to keep the ball in play that time. Well, big news concerning Chelsea on the transfer front. Their fans delighted that they've got their man, Stuart. Well, I think it's a good move for him. He has great ability, but needs to be that little bit more consistent. I'd say it's a fair price as well. Vernadeschi. Now, let's see what they can do here. Fidalgo. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. Berisha, Maitland-Niles, won it back, using his strength to shield the ball, Mbermo, in with a chance, pivotal moment defensively, oh beating his opponent with ease, well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Right, I'm going to quickly throw it over to Alex because I believe there's been a goal at the Vitality Stadium. It's a goal for Bournemouth. It's now 1-0 with 10 minutes to half-time. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Well, who would dare predict the outcome of matches in the Championship? This is one to look forward to live on EA TV. It's Blackburn Rovers facing West Bromwich Albion. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium, and it should be an entertaining match. Alert defending. Maitland-Niles. He must finish! Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Well, as you can see, it's been really tight and neither side has taken enough risk going forward. Hopefully that will change soon and then we might get some entertainment. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. 
Now, far from a smooth challenge. Now, will the referee produce a card? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Gaetan Bon. Zinkernagel. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. McKenna. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. Tremendous challenge. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, he had it on target, but it was never going to trouble the keeper. Getting forward. Fruitful looking attack. And making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. Played over. And clearing it away. So the half-time whistle. And the two teams have just about matched each other stride for stride. What have you made of our hosts? Yeah, their defending has been good today. Such an improvement. And for me, the difference has been the centre-backs. They've made all the right decisions. Hopefully that continues in the second 45. As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Maitland Niles. Thierry Correa. Fidalgo. And Diaz has it. Joe Rothwell. Clean challenge. Zinkernagel. Oh, and a perfect ball now. How about this? Moving forward effectively. So a deflection, and they can get ready for the corner kick routine. And over it comes. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. The thrills and spills of championship action. Join us for this one live on EA TV. It's Nottingham Forest taking on oh, Stoke City. Here, Derek. Oh, magnificent reaction. It is a decent looking attack here. A really top notch piece of defending. Zinkernagel. Joao Carvalho here. Joao Carvalho. And given away. Ball's gone. Ojeda. Mbermo. Now a decent position. Promising looking ball. Must be. Chance maybe. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Fidalgo. Now, what can they do from here? Maitland Niles. And he read it well defensively.
And a chance to whip it in here. Gives it a go. Still alive. Threat over for now, it seems. And a goal update to bring you from the Queen's Park Rangers game. Let's find out exactly what. Here's Alex. Yep, it's a second goal for QPR. The shot was ferocious and it went in off the woodwork. They're pulled ahead by two with 67 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. 20 minutes to go in this one. Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? Joao Carvalho. Mbemo. Oh, surely. And touched on to the frame of the goal. Oh, he's given it away. Cuts it back. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, here's the replay, and it's a simple finish in the end. But where was the defending? That's just not good enough. A dramatic moment near the end and that might well be the decider and we're inside the final 15 minutes Graban Mbermo And he read it superbly. Well, still time for them to level it. And let's give credit to the defending. I believe there's been a goal at Bramall Lane. Let's hear all about it from Alex Scott. Yep, it's a goal for West Brom. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 80 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Philipp Zinkernagel unable to keep the ball that time well the fans are driving their team on here but can they respond with a goal time is running out well this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline Stuart give us your take well it's been tight but they've lacked a cutting edge they've done well at the back and in midfield but the final pass the shot of cross have lacked that bit of quality can they find that missing link in these final few minutes? Could be. Great drama here. Level once more. Incredible scenes. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Fidalgo. Mergin Berisha. And the search goes on for a winner. Time is tight. And the referee is going to add on three minutes. And he takes it away. Able to skip past his man. Bernadeschi. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. And so the final whistle is sounded at the end of the game. The team's not to be divided. From the point of view of the hosts, how did they fare? Derek, you can't always be at your best. And on those days, you have to grind out a result. And that's exactly what they did today. It was a really good late equaliser.
And this confrontation is underway. Now sending it in. And that wasn't a bad header at all. Couldn't quite get over the ball. Well, he didn't miss by all that much. Well, he struck it quite nicely, but the keeper was always in control of the situation. He knew that was going wide. but just too much height on it. And that is going to mean a caution. And touched onto the frame of the goal. Oh, he's given it away. Cuts it back. And a goal it is, the keeper really not part of the equation. We've got some questions for you. the question. Nigerian honey who laughs at my jokes even when they're not funny. Support my cause and I'll support yours. Buy me a Benz like I buy you a Bimma. Hosted in Jamaica Beanie Man Sim Simma. A Honda Accord. Who's got the keys to the Porsche? Force. He's got some keys to a Ford. I'm so flawed but that's calm. I can't sleep. I take calms. Herbal remedies like tea for me. Booty drinking. Well what a game we have in store for you today. The hype has been building all week and we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. Hello from the Midlands, we find ourselves at the Hawthorns. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's West Bromwich Albion, and they take on Blackburn Rovers. Well, Derek, when... Can he take the chance? Oh, he's blocked it!
Callum Robinson. And threading it forward. Oh, that's top-notch goalkeeping, you've got to say. It has gone over the touchline for what'll be a throw-in. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Not the best challenge, free kick. To take the lead. Can they cover up? Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Well, it's tight at the top and extremely tense, just as we would want it, Stuart. Well, it looks like being a very close race for the title, doesn't it? There's nothing to choose between the teams, but can one of them just go on a great run and pull away? Aware of the threat, solving the problem. Not to be in terms of the finish. Mowat, Molumbi. So for Blackburn Rovers, parity prevailed in the last game. A draw against Nottingham Forest. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, they'd be disappointed with that result. Today, I think, will be a tough game, though. They certainly need to match their opponent's work rate, defend well, and pose a threat on the counter-attack. But I'm not sure that's going to happen. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. And they need to get tighter. Well, they couldn't quite muster a real threat. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. He'll have a go here. And just too much height on the shot. Robert Snodgrass. Callum Robinson read it superbly to take back possession Joe Rothwell has eyes for goal and just putting it over the top Bartley Callum Robinson right developments to report in the Barnsley game Alex Scott has the information yep it's a goal for QPR they've scored the opener with 26 minutes played thanks as always Alex Mergim Berisha. He made it look simple, really. Dian Ghana. Loves to attack from the wide areas. Cuts it back. And there it is. 1 0. Their efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, here's the replay. He's done well to get his head up, pick out a teammate, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal.
are back underway and 1-0 it is let's see what happens next Maitland-Niles Joe Rothwell now let's see what they can do here Thierry Correa Mergin Berisha good use of the ball but can they trouble the defence I believe changing circumstances in the Birmingham game Alex Scott it's a second goal for Luton Town you could see he knew what he wanted to do as he stepped well diving magnificently to make sure he got there Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, a really good header. But the goalkeeper there to cover up. Bernadeschi. And a really good diving stop. Trying to pick out a teammate. Insufficient guile from that corner. Keeper's ball. Well, goalkeeper mistake. Will there be a price to pay? Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession. But what they've done with it has been really good. And they'll be happy with the way the game is being played at the moment. They love to play on the counter-attack. Well, racing past his man. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Corner kick played in. Well, he'd love to have that delivery back. Townsend. Callum Robinson. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Well, it's just been a struggle for Federico Bernardeschi to find his rhythm in this match, Stuart. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Bartley... And Clark on the ball. Jason Malumbi. Mowat. Matt Clark. Townsend. Well, someone has scored in the Huddersfield game. Let's find out who by sending us over to Alex. Yep, it's a goal for Huddersfield Town. It's now 1-0 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Crisp tackling. How about the cross? Cuts in from the flank. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. And he's got and scored to level it again. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just look how well-balanced he is. He knows he's going to be under pressure, but he shows great composure to hit the target. So the ball is rolling again at one all. What a very big transfer story that we've been covering. And now I can tell you official news coming through. Gabriel Jesus has completed his move to the Bernabeu. Well, I think he'll fit in well to their style of play. He's a skillful player, but the move will just bring out the best of him. It's a good Oh, they could finish here, Stuart. And the challenge, crisp and clean. The right developments to report in the Barnsley game. Alex Scott has the information.
Yeah, it's a second goal for QPR. Could the goalkeeper have done better? Yes, but let's not take nothing away from that finish. They're ahead by two now with 53 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. Couldn't quite hang on. But it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. 30 minutes left for play. Robinson. Dian Ghana. Lastly, time tackle. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's West Bromwich Albion versus Luton Town. Can they get themselves in front here? Tremendous block. And just narrowly wide. Well, it's a good effort from that range, but I think the keeper had it covered. And I believe there's been a goal in the Birmingham City match. Here with the details is Alex Scott. It's a goal for Birmingham City. They are now behind 2-1 with 66 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Can he take the chance? Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. No space for them here. Can he play it in? Shot attempted. Superb block. Life is never dull in the championship. Live action coming up for you on EA TV. It's Blackburn Rovers facing Millwall. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Well, there it is. The visitors have completely dominated the game in the last 15 minutes. You sense it's inevitable the goal will come. It'll be certainly no less than they deserve. They just need to be a bit more clinical in that final third now. Well, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Birmingham game. Alex Scott, what can you tell us? It's a third for Luton Town. It's now 3-1 with 73 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Mowat. Well, getting the ball forward. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And it crossed the byline. A goal kick as a result. Joe Rothwell. Running with the ball confidently. And what a magical save it was! Who can he pick out? Body in the way. Not really the ideal clearance. On a time for composure on the ball. And a goal has been scored in the Blackpool match. Let's get the information from Alex. Yep, it's a second goal for Bournemouth. They're pulled ahead by two with 80 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. A terrific piece of goalkeeping. Well, the two sides still locked together. And a set piece, a corner, can make all the difference. And the substitution will occur now. He's driven in the corner. Did his job defensively. That is how to apply the pressure. Could be a chance to break here. Furlong. A delicious piece of skill. Kenneth Zohori. And they still have designs on the win. Wonderful chance. Couldn't quite hang on. Right, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Hull game, and Alex can tell us all about it. It's a third goal for Fulham. They've extended their lead to three with 86 minutes played. Many thanks, Alex. Very quick thinking there. It is to be a throw-in. 
Berisha. No danger here as he runs at them. Can he put them in front? Magnificent defending. Well, the attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. And there is the referee's whistle for full time. Even Stephen here, they can't be separated. We were treated to goals. And Stuart, interested to get your verdict. Well, Derek, what a good game it was. Plenty of chances, some good attacking play, and a couple of outstanding individual performances. I really enjoyed that one. Eyes for goal! And just putting it over the top. Cuts it back. Young Felipe, never been concerned about the he say, she say. Look at my bigger can you see it's my B day. Every day, all day, but I do not eat cake and I do not see hate. Stink Mina, my demeanor with the Nina. Singaritas wanna meet me at the Catalina. Mix up, mix it up with my elixir. Overlooking the ocean, I hoping I see flipper. Young Felipe, moving like a GTA, but not CJ, more like Tommy. Copy, facts. Spacey, you can call me Drax, so you every track, and you know it's about to stop. Uh. Turn up, say they want fire, let it burn up. Trying to break my habits, but some days I gotta f up. Got your girl hooked up the truth, no sojourner. You know I'm job rule with the pen, ink murder. So I was writing about tomorrow with today card. Throwing curves at it, no baseball. We work through it, hashtag, no days off. Feeling, feeling blessed, no thanks God. Dude, say on my lines, no A, but I got dope in my quote speech, napalm. So before you wanna ride, take your breaks, y'all on very thin ice with some really cheap skates. No fool, we do very cheap dates. Don't give me bad mood, but that mad great. Uh, what's in my wallet? The keys to their heart is a deposit.
Hi everyone, it is an absolutely splendid day for football and we're looking forward to the game. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is very much on live action from the Championship. It's Blackburn Rovers and they take on Millwall. Well, thanks Derek as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace, and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind, and he does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes it off. And this confrontation is underway. This looks promising. Fine cross into the middle. And just a bit too high with that attempt. Connor Mahoney Bradshaw physically strong and secure on the ball oh, lovely incisive pass not going to get away with that because it's offside here and he shouldn't be offside there he's gone too early and that's a waste of a great opportunity Berisha opportunity here oh not to be an opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek, but that's a wasteful finish. And they need to get tighter. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. Scott Malone. Alex Pierce with it. Pierce, Connor Mahoney. So for Blackburn Rovers, a draw it was in the last game against West Bromwich Albion. What do you anticipate seeing this time, Stuart? Well, they were probably just about the better team in that one all draw. Today, though, if they play with a bit more purpose from the start, I think they'll win this one. And possibilities here. The high press was on, and the chance is on. Well, it's ended up being, quite frankly, easy for the keeper. Well, he should be hitting the back of the net. That's a poor effort. Fidalgo. Might be a chance here. And there it is, the breakthrough. That will do nicely. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. One nil then.
throw-ins given. Mahoney. Bradshaw. A bit of running room now on the wing. Oh, superb skill. But a good piece of tidying up. Oh, good vision. Well, not allowed to continue. He had drifted into the offside position. Well, if he takes a step back to the ball and then spins in behind, he'll be onside. But he does know where the space is. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. And pulled back. And he's taken it away. But I believe a goal has gone in at the Kayan Prince Foundation Stadium. Alex can tell us more. It's a goal for QPR. They've scored the opener here with 26 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. An important interception. It looks promising. He's in here. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder and his movement so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Well, I believe there's been a goal at the Kayan Prince Foundation Stadium. Let's join Alex Scott for an update. but the rebound has been put in nicely. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 31 minutes played. What a fascinating matchup we have here today, Derek. Alex, thank you very much. Jon Daddy Birdvarsson. An authoritative challenge. And you don't want to lose possession there. Really good attacking play. Well, the hosts, as you can see, haven't enjoyed the majority of possession. But that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas, they've got... Oh, hang on, Stuart. Look at this. And up for grabs off the keeper. And there it is. But hang on. The flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Joe Rothwell... Fidalgo. He continues his run. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. And space for them here on the flank. Can he get one back? He can! He's given his team a real opportunity. And momentum is with them. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But when he shoots, I expect him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. Fidalgo. Just not looking confident in possession. 
Keaton Bell. Well, the counter chance looks very real. So three minutes of stoppage time it'll be. Well, he likes to run at them. And a very good challenge. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Well, strong play here. Bradshaw. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. And the upshot of it all is a sending off too. Well, it was certainly a penalty all day long. A sending off, I'm not quite so sure. And now to level the game. Denied by the bar. Back in play here. He must dispose of it here. Now, what's the keeper playing at? And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Keaton Bell. Jon Daddy Birdvarsson. Jake Cooper now. Well, they keep the ball moving. This looks threatening. Oh, a goal! The equaliser! They've completely changed the equation! Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place. Keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. Underway, dead level, 2 2. Diego Carlos running with the ball confidently, but ultimately up a cul de sac. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Blackburn Rovers facing Sheffield United. And now passing it through. And the keeper did magnificently. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? He's driven in the corner. Keeper getting the touch. Connor Mahoney. George Savile with it. Oh, great defending. Now, what can they do from here? Bernardeschi. Well, possibilities in the centre. Mergin Berisha. Opportunity here. Can they keep it out? Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, you sense it's just a matter of time before they do score, Derek. They've been piling on the pressure now and really should be ahead in this one.
They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And into the last 30 minutes now. Good looking sequence. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Well, he's gone back to give the free kick, the referee here. He tried to play advantage, but it didn't accrue. The thrills and spills of championship action. Join us for this one live on EA TV. It's Millwall taking on Derby County. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertainers. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And a goal! Well, against all the odds, they've hit the front. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. You can't really say defences are on top. 3-2. They need to get tighter. Strong play here to keep the ball, to wait for the support. Well, something has happened at one of the other venues. Let's get the up-to-date news from Alex. Well, Luton Town were awarded the penalty, and I think if he counted his blessings, because it's gone off the post and it's gone in. It's now 2-1 with 69 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. They've regained possession. And the attack looks promising. Oh, from miles out, he's done it! How about that for a pure strike? Terrific technique! Wondrous! Well, here it is again, and wow, just take a look at this. He's absolutely nailed this one. What a strike that is from distance. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Electing to cross into the centre. But it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it was played over. And he might be through here. Is it going to be? And foiled only by the crossbar. And it goes! A three-goal cushion, and you truly sense it's a matter of how many. Well, as you can see here, the initial attempt is good, but his reaction is brilliant. He was so alert there. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Keefton Bell. It's with Hutchinson. Now Saddle. Real chance. Well, chance wasted. Well, through on goal, you have to show more sense here. He's just put his head down and whacked it. Not good enough.
Benoit Badiashil. Well, on the cusp of the final whistle, and the home side really prospering today. Stuart, interested to get your take. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Let's fly here! Well, no surprise to see him go for goal, but a routine save in the end. Excellent challenge. And goal news to bring you from the Queen's Park Rangers game. Alex Scott. It's a second goal for Hull City. It's now 2-1 with 85 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. <laughs> Luis Diaz. Oh, big opportunity. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. And out of play, the pass nearly worked out, but not quite. Badia Schiel. Deciding to give it to the keeper. Benoit Badia Schiel. Now with Diego Carlos. And showing fine vision. Well, that has been deemed offside, Stuart. Well, he took too long to get the pass away. It's as simple as that. Really good attacking play. Has someone to play it to. Clean challenge. And there it is, a goal, but will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Mill goal. And there goes the final whistle, and the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, Derek, what a good performance that was. They did most things right, and their attacking play was inventive and had a real cutting edge. That was a really dominant display from them today. Well, Stuart, he really... Just a couple of questions for you.
Thank you. That's all the questions we've got for you. Hello everyone, always a joy to be here in South Yorkshire, we're at Bramall Lane. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner as usual is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Sheffield United and they take on Blackburn Rovers. Well Derek, as is always the case, the team that dominates midfield will be the team that controls the flow of the game. And that for me is the area that's key today. And they need to get tighter here. But really sticking to their task defensively. Maitland Niles. Bernadeschi. A really intense pressure applied. Maitland Niles. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. <laughs> Playing it in. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. Maitland Niles. Fairly comfortable in bringing that ball down. Well, as you can see, the visitors come into this game full of confidence in front of goal. The best attack in the league statistically. Well, they've been devastated on the counter-attack. Their speed of passing and movement has caused opponents so many problems. Today will be another chance to show their qualities against a team who like to control possession. Strong but fair tackle. Luis Diaz. Now, let's see what they can do here. Can he finish? And a goal! That is 
was a very bright start. Perfect way to open. Well, here we can see just how good this goal is. It has everything. Skill, pace and power. There was no stopping him there. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Oliver Burke. A well, fine use of the ball. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And into the clutches of the goalkeeper. Well, a badly timed run. Just a fraction offside. Luis Diaz. Another successful intervention. Winning the ball back. And showing fine vision. Well, no stopping him. Plays it back. And will it be the leveller? Oh, a stellar piece of defending. Breaking at pace. Maitland Niles. And up a cul de sac in terms of the attack. Morgan Gibbs White. And it's with Freeman. It needs an accurate cross. Must be. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Backer. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, just couldn't quite control the header and a disappointing effort in the end. Might really be able to trouble them here. Thierry Correa and teammates to play it to. It might be. Well, they've won themselves a corner and a chance perhaps to add an additional goal for security. Attending to his defensive chores. Mitchell Backer. Well, tremendous block. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, clattered away. Luke Freeman. Oliver Burke. And Burke with it. Norwood. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. Nearly at the break then, and the visitors have eked out a lead. Stuart, an opportune moment, I think, to get your assessment. Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. Oliver Burke. And snuffing out the danger. Joe Rothwell. Well, they did have the ball, but not anymore. Norwood. And it's with Freeman. 
And under pressure, that was a fine claim. Surely! And throwing himself up the ball. Well, just listen to the fans. They know this is a big chance here. And he's fired over the corner. Promising sequence. Space and time for the cross. Run it well. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Options in the centre. Well, he's keen on cutting in. Mergin Berisha. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. So now a corner. Who can they pick out? And a goal here! Well, it took a definite nick, and nothing the keeper could do about it whatsoever. Well, as the replay shows, it takes a deflection, and as a result, the keeper had very little chance there. They just got a bit of luck. So 2-0 now. And space to exploit, maybe. It'll be a corner. Well, they haven't seen too many chances, but the crowd sensing this could be a turning point. They need a goal here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Well, no end product. And given away. Well, more championship action for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Sheffield United facing Millwall. Bernadeschi, he's in behind. And still danger here. Well, they can bring it out now. Berge. Morgan Gibbs-White. A good and fair challenge. Intercepting it intelligently. Berge. Great pressure to win the ball back. Oh, surely it's still alive. And he clears it out of harm's way. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. It's a fantastic stop from the keeper, you have to say. Another live game in the championship coming your way on EA TV. It's Blackburn Rovers facing Queen's Park Rangers. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Bernadeschi. And a good-looking ball. Always going to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, he could give it away. Egan. 
Well, those stats don't surprise me. Sheffield United have certainly had more of the ball, but it means nothing unless they start to be more creative, particularly in the wide areas. Up to this point, they've been too easy to defend against. Oh, Stuart, they must score! And there is the goal! Well, that changes the equation, and they have the momentum now. Well, let's take another look. He's got such quick feet, hasn't he? It's a great turn and shot. What a good goal that is. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. 20 minutes to go. Joe Rothwell. Thierry Correa. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Could cross it in here. Can he finish? My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. Played over. Not the result from the set piece they were looking for. Maitland Niles. Able to get a body in the way. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. Freeman, Oliver Norwood, Berger with it, Oliver Burke, on the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly, 10 minutes to go then, and providing width, And a squandered opportunity there. Double substitution for Sheffield United. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Lovely first touch. That wasn't easy. Foul there. Free kick awarded. Mitchell Backer. Joe Rothwell. He would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Well, the fans are certainly playing their part here. Just listen to this noise. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. Well, the referee has taken note of his name and number. Well, I think he can count himself a bit unlucky there, but it was certainly a foul. And disappointingly, straight into the wall. The high press was very much on. And cutting inside. Can he finish? Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, he puts it away really well, as you can see. But you'd expect him to score from that range. But they all count. 
So back underway, dead level, 2-2. Can they push ahead on the closing stages? Jimenez. Brereton. And teammates to play it to. Maitland Niles. Oliver McBurney. Connor Hurahan. And so the final whistle has sounded, and this game will go into the history books recorded as a draw. What do you think the visitors will feel about what they've put into the game? Well, we said before the kickoff how dangerous they are with the ball, and they demonstrated that once again here. But there are two sides to the game, and their defending wasn't solid enough. That's a worry for me. Just a moment of your time. That'll be all, thank you. We simply have to focus on this man in imperious form and the leading marksman in the league. Can he add to his total today on EA TV?
Hello everyone, the weather forecasters promised us a very pleasant day for football and that's exactly what we've got. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator and alongside providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson and the focus is very much on live action from the championship. It's Blackburn Rovers versus Queen's Park Rangers. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Good looking sequence. Fidalgo. And just wide of the post. Decent effort there. Well, he's got plenty of space on the flank here. Mecklen Niles. Cuts it back. Able to get a body in the way. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, as you can see, his form in front of goal has been superb. He just has that knack of finding space in the box. And then, of course, he's a brilliant finisher. I'm sure he'll show us that again today. Chair. Andre here. Can he make it count? The opening goal of this match, and what a start they've made. Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Fidalgo Fabrizio Angileri playing with purpose and control and making the move to the inside and a fine stop Andre Gray and the ball with chair Gray, a chance to whip it in, and a very good challenge. Right, let's send it over to Alex, because I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Birmingham game. Yep, it's a goal for Huddersfield Town. It's now 1-0 with 19 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. On the offensive, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it. Oh, what an opportunity! Spectacular save, top-class goalkeeping. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Luis Diaz. Joe Rothwell. Oh, they've given him too much space. And a goal to level this contest. All even. Well, here we can see it again. And he does so well to skip beyond the defender. It just buys him that bit of time to get his shot away. That's a really nice goal. So, a level contest, 1-1. One, one. Andre Gray. And the ball with chair. Prince. 
Chea. Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Gray. And a goal! Just like that, they're back in front. Well, here's the replay, and you just have to admire the patience of the passing as they look for that defence-splitting ball. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Maitland-Niles. And Diaz has it. Oh, breezing past him. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long. And this match is level again. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. Right, let's quickly send it over to Alex Scott because Alex, news of a goal in the Luton match. Alex, thank you very much. Andre Gray. Good looking move. Real chance. And he scored not once but twice. They simply cannot stop him. And no wonder he's enjoying himself. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but they've shown a real lack of creativity today. They need to be far more inventive in the final third if they're to turn things around here. Making progress. Could be threatening. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Jordi Device. Mali prevented it from going over the line. And really closing him down here. Chair. Prince. And the attack looks promising. We wondered who was going to win the race. The answer, the goalkeeper. Right, I'm hearing there's been a goal in the Birmingham game. Alex Scott? It's a goal for Birmingham City. It's all even Stevens at 1-1 with 43 minutes played. Thanks as always, Alex. Maitland-Niles. And teammates to play it to. And possibilities here. Effective challenge. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. And with that, the first half draws to a close. The two teams have switched around and are ready now for the second half. Chair. Can they make one of these passes count? Andre Gray deflected behind, corner forthcoming. Now sending it in, attending to his defensive chores. And the referee blows the whistle, it is a free kick. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Can he play it in? And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Amos. 
Could be dangerous. Fractionally offside. Now the championship is such a competitive division and this is a game for you to look forward to on EA TV. It's Blackburn Rovers facing Fulham. Amos. It's with Johansson. And he was in the right place to intercept. Luis Diaz tackling and winning the ball to boot. Prince. Andre Gray. Take some progress with the ball at his feet. It's a neat move. Well, they're keeping their opponents moving and guessing. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. And time for the change now. Who can they pick out? Able to deal with the threat. Stefan Johansson. And the referee says penalty. Well, he's avoided a booking, but the complaints continue. And I can understand why. I think it's a poor foul. It should be a yellow card for me. And he's only gone and made it a hat-trick. Absolutely unplayable today. What a performance. So the current scoreline, 4-2. A championship match that should hold plenty of intrigue. Join us on EA TV. It's Queen's Park Rangers facing Cardiff City. Really vital interception here. Right, I believe changing circumstances in the Bournemouth game. Alex Scott has the details. It's a goal for Bournemouth. No one was marking him. He had too much time, and it was a simple finish in the end. They're ahead by two now, with 65 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. Fidalgo. Is it going to end up being productive for them? And there it is! Still life left in this game, and they have the momentum now. Well, how about this? 4-3. Into the final 20 minutes. Perisha. Fidalgo. Sends it back. Declan Niles. An attack full of promise. Fidalgo. A glorious chance. Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Substitution for Queen's Park Rangers. Coming off the pitch. Number 19, Andre Gray. To be replaced by... Number 21, Chris. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Oh, maybe the equaliser. That is a tackle and a half. High pressing at its best. Space on the flank. He has time to play it over. Still could be dangerous. And I think the threat has been averted. Right, let's quickly send it over to Alex Scott because Alex news of a goal in the Luton match. Yep, it's a third goal for Derby County. It's now 3-1 with 80 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. This could square the game, but no, he's gone and missed it. 
Well, what a huge moment that could prove to be. They're running out of time here. Substitution for Queen's Park Rangers. Coming off the pitch, number seven, Stefan Johansson. Coming onto the pitch, number 12, Dominic Bull. Himalayan. Chair. Useful looking ball. Still alive. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, I have to say, these fans have been excellent. They still believe they're going to get back into this. And a goal update to fill you in on in the Blackpool game. Alex Scott has the information. Yep, it's a goal for Reading. They've scored the opener here with 86 minutes on the clock. Alex, thank you very much. This could level it. Oh, so near. Off the post. Lyndon Dykes. Now, counter attacking possibilities here. Dykes. This could be it. Excellent save. Well, you're absolutely right. It's a top quality save, but they're running out of time here. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. So the corner played into the box. Goalkeeper's ball, it was always going to be that way. And he's given it away. Will it be? And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, certainly not their best performance, was it? Just a little bit off the pace for me, and obviously... Well, they keep working away, looking for passing lanes. Uh, just a moment of your time. No further question. Thanks for your